Mother's Day so far, warm temperatures. So, Lainey, how do you celebrate the holiday? I tell you what, we did a lot of eating <laughs> and Perfect. a lot of talking and visiting and some time outdoors. Like you said, it was really pretty nice, right? Yeah. We had temperatures that were comfortable. It wasn't terribly hot, not terribly humid. I do think that the temperatures are going to be close to normal as we look ahead this week. There may be some opportunities for wet weather. Some folks are out on the water. You have a busy day at Belize Lake. You can see the crowds out there also seeing some of the spring flowers. So it is nice, beautiful afternoon. Few clouds around though, so not totally sunny. Uh, tomorrow we're heading into kind of a cloudy period, a little bit cooler. Some passing light rain or drizzle is possible tomorrow. Then we've got a more active weather uh, system developing late Tuesday that will bring us some scattered showers, possibly a few thunderstorms late into Tuesday night. Should be out of here by Wednesday morning. And then we're going to keep a close eye on a couple of areas of low pressure that are going to be moving along the Gulf Coast for later in the week. So any shift in those could make us drier or wetter as we get into that Friday, Saturday, Sunday time period. Temperatures today very close to normal with a high of 79. Our average high is 78 degrees and temperatures will be a little cooler tomorrow. So yeah, you might need a light jacket out tomorrow with some of that rain, maybe a rain jacket. And then notice that we're pretty close to normal highs for most of the week. Right now we've got 60 in Sparta, kind of cool. 67 in Galax, 75 in Elkin, as well as Jacksonville. Mid to upper 70s from Burlington to Lexington, Moxville at 79. The heat is out to the west, at least for now. We have that front that's kind of snaked itself just south of us and that's why we've got a cooler east and northeast breeze at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. So yeah, it's kind of sloppy here with all the fronts across the area. But one thing you need to know is a few passing showers for this evening over the mountains and foothills. So yeah, it could be a little bit wet for your late evening plans over the next few hours. You can see some light rain from Sparta along Highway 21. Also around Devotion, you've got some light rain. And then that is moving south into Wilkes County where we have some rain around the McGrady community and also getting ready to move into Mulberry. That front that is just to the south of us that has allowed that cooler flow in here, keeping most of the rain along the frontal boundary, which should keep it out of the triad for tonight. Tomorrow, though, we may wake up to kind of a cloudy day and maybe a little bit of patchy drizzle or fog to start the day. That's one of those things with that easterly flow coming off the Atlantic, getting pushed up against the mountains. We sometimes do get that low overcast and at least some very, very light precipitation. So I think that's possible tomorrow as we start the day. Temps in the mid 50s in the mountains, close to 60 degrees in the triad. As we go through the day tomorrow, I think it's pretty overcast most of the day. The temperatures are cooler than normal. Upper 60s close to 70 and we do have a chance for a passing light rain shower at any point during the day. I don't necessarily think it's going to be raining all day, but you just need to be ready for that. Temperatures in the upper 60s in the foothills with some scattered light rain showers picking up in the afternoon. For the mountains, you've got a high of 62, a lot of clouds tomorrow, also some showers that may increase their coverage by late in the day. We're watching for little waves of energy in our jet stream that are pushing through. So we've got one that comes through during the day tomorrow and a more impressive one that drops in on Tuesday. And so with that, our rain chances are likely going to go up. So if you look at the seven day forecast, we do have our highest rain chance this week, Tuesday into Tuesday night. And then hopefully we dry things out just a little bit. Right now, I will tell you the weekend is kind of up in the air, depending on what happens with those storm systems over the deep south.